I came across this link on the Aptar Owners Club Discord and some very interesting news. This was actually just announced today and it's announcing the tier one supplier for the battery packs and the production lines for the battery packs. These are coming from South Korea. I'll link to all these in the description so you can look at them as well. But basically the key parts here are this company will install the battery production lines and supply the battery packs to Aptera Motors as a tier one supplier. And it seems like they're the size of the contract is they're also be investing um, some million dollars. Not really sure what that means. Uh, the contract is around 15 million and the rest of that I can let you read through later, but some images from this. And this is the company it linked to, so it's a fairly small company. Founded in 2017. And one thing, they have a pretty good track record on raising funds, actually. So, so let me find those again. So 21, 500 million, another 200 million. They raised 2 billion here. So they definitely have a lot of funds and there's another big chunk, 2 million and another 2.5 billion. So they definitely have a lot of capital. So it looks like they picked a good, Aptera found a good company for the battery packs, which is really exciting. And this is on their, the website for these guys. So again, this is 10 hours ago, pretty recent. The only thing extra here was, this is translated, so it's not really picking Aptera up, right? But Aptera signed a contract to produce EV battery packs and ultra volume production at 120 billion won. So 120, Billion won is about 92 million in US dollars currently. So it looks like this contract is a, they completed within 24 years. So it's a long term contract, which is very interesting. So the first 25 years of mass production. The signing ceremony was done on December 22nd, so just about four days ago as of this recording. And again, I'll link to all these in the description. So I'll play this for you. This is uh, basically showing their battery production line and the batteries being loaded. So I'll let you watch this. Again, this link, link will be in the description. Actually, before we get into this, this is the translated text from the video. So, so they can change the production line based on battery pack <laughs> recipes. And so the basically the four different variations of the, the battery pack with Aptera, they could definitely adapt to that. So let you, I'll play this. So this would be the production line that Aptera would get from them, essentially. And I wonder if these, this is slowed down to kind of show the process or if this can be sped up. We're kind of interesting to see the whole process from start to finish. I turned the audio off on this. There's no 
it's just background music, so there's nothing really relevant to share with the audio here. So now here's the welding part. Pretty interesting. So it kind of seems like maybe there would be maybe two of those small packs for like a cell, battery cell with Aptera, because that looks pretty small. So I think it would be at least two or three of those little packs kind of connected together. Or this could just be a example. I'm sure they could fit it all in one go. And that's how it looks like finished. Pretty fascinating, that's about it on that video. So let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, it's pretty exciting to hear they've signed this. I wonder when Aptero can officially announce it, I assume. Uh, next year, January, they would make a more official announcement, but this is good news. This is another big, other than the body, this is another big investment for them is the batteries. So even before next year, they finished some pretty amazing things, the body and the battery, the contracts have been signed and they obviously aren't producing these batteries, but they, I would assume they would start getting these installed at their factory early next year. So yeah, excited for next year and let me know your thoughts. See ya.